Molly. I'm Tara. And I'm Ricky. And, and that's Ricky. That's Ricky. <laughs> this is Natalie and Tara and collab with Ricky. Ricky. Try stuff. This is our dear friend Ricky from the channel Stu Dippin. And today we are doing a very exciting cartoon costume cosplay challenge. Oh wow, lots All of words. Seas. Yeah, lots <laughs> of words. Alliteration. We had led it up to a fan vote for which uh, cartoon we were gonna do and DuckTales won <laughs> out. So each of us has picked a character from DuckTales and we're all gonna go on our own little adventures and shopping and then we're gonna make it into a contest and you're gonna vote on the winner by commenting below. below. Other thing to know is that this video is going to be involving a giveaway for you guys. Mm -hmm. So, people who subscribe to both our channels and comment below voting are in the mix to win $25 gift card to Goodwill. Yeah. And then some Neurogum. Neurogum. And, and maybe some, maybe little, some little, little, little treats, treats in there. But I'm going to rattle off the rules really quick go. and then we're going to go do this. So, the only rules are we have one day to make these costumes and Tara and Ricky both have $25 to spend and I only have 20 because I have a costume closet. Oh, you'll see. That's my garage. Oh, you'll um, see. But we gotta go because we got a day to do this and <sighs> we, there's a lot of crafting I, and stuff Yeah, I'm, 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 there's things I, I need that I'm not Ricky, sure. are you ready? I was born ready. Cool. But we didn't choose Darkwing Duck. Oh man. Okay, so I'm doing Launchpad McQuack. Uh, I've got a couple of different options. I'm gonna try and figure out which one I can actually do the best and see what else I need to get. I have got my character picked here. I think we're going with Magica de Spell. I couldn't decide who I wanted to go for, and so I took a DuckTales quiz online. Which vil DuckTales villain are you? And I will be cosplaying as Fenton Crackshell, but you might know him as Gizmo Duck. Now, in addition to your $25 worth of materials, you can also use anything you already currently own. So I will be using these red pants. First order of business is a black wig, which I'm pretty sure I've got. These are all my wigs. Wigs, wigs, wigs. Okay, there we go. Just so happens that my husband, Brandon, has got this. And my cat loves these little furry furs, that on the neck of the thing, it's gonna look really good. Found my white makeup. I realize I have white, but no yellow. So I'm not gonna be able to draw a beak on unless I can find some cheap yellow. Yellow stockings. I'm pretty certain I don't have yellow stockings. I know I need red felt, which it's kind of sad. There's red felt sitting out right here. Yes, I have a leather jacket. <laughs> I just found I do have white feathers. <laughs> I will be using the following materials. A bunch of poster board. This helmet, foam sheets, black um, drain pans, and these index dividers. Scissors, staplers, and of course, duct tape. Woo! <laughs> Uh, actually, I need to go grab the duct tape. Still rolling though, sorry. Duct tape, woo! That's not the... And nothing else. No, it's a cosplay challenge. Of course, a bunch of paper plates. Just tons of them. I need three things. I need khakis, because I don't own any. Uh, I need orange hair and a blue hat. Look at these right here with Ventura, but she hasn't seen them. Holy crap, I just found my orange cuff. Awesome, I think I just got everything I needed. What do I still need? I need a black dress, and I need it to do a thing, a little mermaid tail, but at the knees, and then it has to be long sleeves, and it has to, I want a, I want a square collar. That's. What, but I also was thinking, she has a sidekick, that is her brother that has been turned into a crow, and I want to see if I can find one of those. Oftentimes in these thrift stores, they have them, but that's like, that's the thing I want most in the world right now. <laughs> I could probably make this dress work. Collar's not what I want, but. I mean, she doesn't have to have a big butt. No. She can just have my big butt. I was really hoping to make a big poofy thing with a tail, but. Oh wait, here we go, creams. Oh, oh the yeah. purple ones. There we go, this is what we're doing. Yes. Oh, I need more white. Oh, I can definitely make these yellow. Okay, so we are pulling away from the dollar store and it looks like we've got everything that we need, but now we gotta go do the hard part, which is make actually it. 
putting it together. Let the cosplay challenge begin! I kind of don't know where to start with this. Like, it just seems a little daunting, but um, I, I guess I start by building a beak. First thing I'm gonna to try to make is the beak. I think that's gonna be the hardest thing of this whole project, so. I need to figure out how to make a beak now. I saw a tutorial, on tutorial online of how to do one with cardboard. It wasn't quite the right shape, but I have these big foam pieces and I kind of feel like I can make that work. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be awesome, babe. Is this a beak yet? Uh, oh boy. Okay, I think that's gonna work. It seems kind of big. He has a huge beak. He says he gives himself an hour and online to do his stuff. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I made a beak. Uh, no way! <laughs> Alright, duck bill made. Everything else. I guess I'll start with the top hat. So my biggest challenge in all of this is finding yellow stockings. I'm gonna to try to dye it in yellow. I couldn't afford on my budget to buy yellow dye. I found this outdoor color foam that I'm gonna try. I realize I need to figure out my hat and my hair. Okay, <laughs> that's not bad. So now I'm going to trim this down and decorate. Uh, provided I get out of this. This is definitely gonna be a thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so stockings are drying outside. Sorry guys, Winchester's really keen on trying to help out. He's gonna knock over the camera. Winchester. So now I'm gonna alter the dress, but I don't really have time to really alter the dress, so I think I'm just gonna safety thin it off. So while I could just do a little whip stitch here probably, <sighs> fine, I'll whip. We just are going away. Okay, that hat will work, now I just need hair. Let's see what we can do with it. to do both this step and the next step. So, I mean, Ricky's costume is probably gonna be made out of cardboard. <laughs> I'm not into just safety pin stuff. I made it. Great. All right, shoulder pads. Taken care of. Pat, good. I think it's gonna work. Uh, last thing to figure out is my jacket. I am not gonna sew the jacket. I know Nally's getting all fancy and sewing, but I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I'm sure Ricky made his out of paper plates. So let's do the magic of safety pins. Now we need the torso thing and I'm gonna use my paper plates. Okay, I'm about to do something really stupid. I've changed my mind three or four times about how I'm gonna go about doing this. And I've now landed on, I'm just gonna cut the bottom of this thing off. There's an old saying, measure twice, cut once. Uh, I'm gonna do the exact opposite. That's gonna be, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I have my extremely intense hot glue gun warming up. I need to put this piece that I cut off back onto the skirt around the bottom. How am I gonna do that? Don't really know. Pretty much everything I do in life, there's an easier way to do it. But, there's also a harder way to do it. So, at least there's that. I take comfort in knowing that. I need to put cuffs on this dress. It has to have these red cuffs. The dress comes to like, right here. I think I need to do is make a little scallop edge around here, and then. Now I need to make the armbands and the waist down. Don't know how that's gonna happen. Oh, and the helmet. Haven't even thought about the helmet. Oh, so much more to go. Gizmo gloves, done. A lot of detail, just a nice little coloring project right in the middle of it. I'm running out of daylight and I gotta hurry. 
Is that just one arm? That's just one arm. <laughs> I am about to chop this wig up. I do not have the time to give it the attention it needs and deserves. Ooh, all right. Helmet is turning out way easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> wow. Wow. And there is a gizmo duck helmet. Helmet, done. Okay, uh, my beak is done, my hat is done, my jacket's done. I think now all that's left to do is the hard part, which is getting into makeup, which I think that's gonna take forever. Now I gotta try to do the tail. Technically it comes through her skirt. I need something to cut. I need something like this. I'm so close guys, now all I need to do is just figure out this wheel thing. So, I guess what I can try to do is somehow attach them to the side of my legs. Maybe I should just duct tape them to the side of my legs. I'm gonna duct tape them to the side of my legs. Right after a quick wardrobe change. Okay, so, gizmo duct, like so. Oh, and I also need to make like the lower waist trousers thing. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is amazing. I still have to make a button for the top of my dress. I have to go do my makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do my makeup. And the next time you see me, I should be in costume. I believe I have everything together. Um, I can't just wear it uh, the way that the technology works is that I have to use the secret passcode, which, gosh, it's been so long. Uh, so this is B, uh, boomerang, bucket bales, electric boogaloo, <sighs> blathering blabber strike. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nothing about this that's not just terrifying. Gizmo Duck, baby!